guys welcome back to my channel and yet another video today i'll be sharing with you my week one and week two check-in for the month of may so i just want to trim all my stickers and then we can go ahead and set up and then start the check-in okay now i'm ready to set up for my weekly spread my weekly check check it spread so just after my debt tracking page i go ahead to the next page that this is where i set up my weekly check-in and this is where i set up my transaction log so i'll start with my weekly check-in okay so i will start with my thick washi right at the top here Then I will put the weekly check-in sticker beside. Just like that. And then I will begin with a strip of washi. My categories are fair groceries and unbudgeted. And then I will close that with a strip of washi. Then we will go ahead to week two. This one is going to be from the 4th to the 10th, this will be for the 18th to the 7th, oh, to the 24th, actually I went ahead and purchased this so let me use it, I'm trying to uh, get used to using it but let's see, hopefully turns out okay okay so the 18th to the 24th the categories are the same fair is from the 25th to the 30th and because I don't have another strip of washi I just wanted to put something to close this space up so I'm just going to use some pink washi that I do have. Just this side so that Then let's go ahead and now set up for my transaction log, which is not very much. Just a header and um, 
one strip of the date, the amount, description of the transaction, and the category. So I usually print out two of those, but I've found that I'm actually not using two, but it's always good to have one on hand just in case. So today I'll just be setting up for this one. And then if I do need to go to the next page, I will have that other tab. Oh, you see why? <laughs> it's always good to have another set. But I think I'm still going to use this one. Just in case I need to go to the other page, I will still have the other one. But this paper, let me try to fix it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start with we're going to start with our transactions after I've drawn my line. So the first transaction was on the second. And the amount was for 200 shillings. The description is food and the category is groceries. Next is the fall to the nine, and the amount is 600. Actually, I've just gone ahead to the second week because I only had one transaction from the first to the third. So I'll just do for the two weeks and then I'll go ahead and check in for both weeks at the same time. So the fourth to the ninth, I spent 600. The description is transport. And the category is fair. Next is the fourth again to the ninth, and this is for uh, the amount is sixteen fifty. The description is food, and this is from my groceries envelope. Next is on the fourth. And the amount is 2,000 shillings. The description is Chama. And it is from my Chama envelope. Next is on the 6th. And the amount used is for... There's 200 shillings. And that is for R. The description is R. And... This is when I actually sent this money to the bank. So I'll just indicate the bank here. Then the same day, there's another 200 for S, the same bank account. And the category is S. Next is on the 7th. And the amount is, the first transaction is for 400 shillings. The description is token. And the category is electricity. And next and last transaction was again on the 7th for 4,200. And the category is debt. No, the category is savings. Category is savings. Uh, the description is savings. The category is debt. So those are all the transactions for these two weeks. So now let's go to our calendar to check out the tabs. So for the second, the amount is actually two hundred shillings. So I'll go ahead and indicate that. 
and then no spend day on the third which was on a sunday then on the fourth i have a couple of transactions here on the fourth the first one is from the fourth to the ninth and that is 600 for transport so uh, transport is my green tab my green stick and my fare so on the fourth that is 600 shillings hope i'm in the frame 600 shillings and then there is for food 1650 1650 and then there is a bill on the fourth and that was for my chama 2000 shillings so the bill is chama and the amount is 2000 shillings then on next is on the sixth so the sixth i have two transactions 200 for r and 200 for s so r 200 and indicate the bank then s 200 and indicate the bank then on the seventh have two transactions again 400 shillings for electricity token and then 4200 towards my debt so the dark pink one is debt so i will indicate 4200 then i have decided to put the pink tag as my savings so i'll just go ahead and indicate 4000 oh, hold on Ooh, there's a bill there there's supposed to be a bill here let me just move the stickers around so i will i wanted to indicate that i actually moved that money from my savings envelope so 4200 and then i have a bill which is token and the amount is 400 shillings so with that done it's now time to actually check in in my weekly spread so from the first to the third um my first transaction was actually food so i did not have anything on fair so i'll just indicate zero on fair and zero on unbudgeted and so when if you have checked my cash envelope stuffing i'm supposed to have had four thousand shillings here so this did not change and also this has not been affected because i have not put any money towards unbudgeted and then groceries i actually spent 200 shillings and if you check that let me just get that envelope and the flashcards. So on the second, um, I stuffed 4,000 shillings into this envelope. On the same day, I spent 200 shillings. I'm supposed to have a, to a balance of 3,800. So 3,800. Let's go ahead to week two. And this one is going to be a little bit different. And more transactions. So, on the 4th to the 9th, let's start with our fare. The 4th to the 9th, I spent 600 shillings. So, I will indicate I spent 600 shillings. The last time I had money in that envelope, I had 4,000 shillings. So, 4,000 shillings minus 600 that I've spent that week. I'm supposed to have a balance of 3,400 in that envelope. Let's confirm with our flashcard. Oh, I've made a mistake. Let me wait out and start over. Okay, I've corrected the mistake. So, I actually put in 2,500 in that envelope. And for the 4th to the 10th, I spent 600 on fare. So, I'm supposed to have 1,900. In that envelope so moving on to fair from the 4th to the 10th um, I spent 1650 
so I'll just indicate that here 1650 and the last time I did the check-in I had 3,600 3,800 so 3,800 minus 1,650 I'm supposed to have 2150 in that envelope then no unbudgeted for this week so let's confirm with our flashcards so as of the 10th or the 9th because the 10th is on a Sunday there's no spending on Sundays so for my fare I'm supposed to have 1900 in that envelope so that is what my flashcard says let's confirm with our envelope 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 so that account is fine Next is groceries and groceries. I'm supposed to have 2,150 and that is what my flashcard says. Let's confirm with our envelope. 1, 2, 2150. So that is fine as well. I do not have an unbudgeted um, envelope. I don't have that amount budgeted for. So let's go ahead to our our calendar and check all the things that we have checked in for and then we can go ahead and confirm with the envelopes that I have touched this week so food and and groceries are done and then now let's start with chama so according to my chama envelope which on the second I put in 5,000 shillings then on the 4th, I paid off 2,000 shillings and that is what is indicated here. So I'll just confirm that. And then I'm supposed to have a balance of 3,000 in that envelope. One, two, three. So that is fine. Next is R and S. And... These are the envelopes. Let me confirm with the flashcard RS. As you can see on the 6th, 200 shillings was forwarded to Cooperative Bank and that is what I've indicated here. So I'll just confirm those two. And I'm supposed to have zero in both envelopes. So I do not have anything here. And I do not have anything here as well. Next is um, my savings and my savings mm -hmm. received 4,200 on the 7th, the same day I paid off that debt and actually forwarded the amount into my family bank account. So I just want to check that for that envelope and I'm not supposed to have anything in here. Next will be our electricity token of which I think... Hmm. Okay, so on the 7th, I paid 400 shillings towards electricity token. Um, I had put the balance wrong. That's why I wiped out and put the amount, right amount. So I'm supposed to have 800 in that envelope. 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is fine. Just take that. And then the last one is my debt and on the 7th um, I paid off that debt of 4,200 so I'm not supposed to have anything in this envelope and it's empty and so I did finalize that account as well. So now that is all I had for you for this week. I really hope you did enjoy watching my video. And that it gave you motivation for you to actually get control over your money and be able to know how you spent your money on what items and on what projects and all that. So thank you so much for keeping me company. I really hope you are enjoying the stickers that um, I'm provided for you at my shop. Thank you for all the purchases that I have received so far. And if you haven't checked them out, go ahead and click the link in the link in the description below so that you can be directed to my shop i'm having 50 percent off thank you so much for keeping me company and for keeping it here at love life and me all on a budget thank you so much for your time and
for your support and for the new subscribers welcome to my channel if you would like to consider subscribing i would love to have you i post different types of videos here on my channel and if this is your thing consider even including the little bell icon so that you can be notified every single time i do post a video thank you for your time and i'll see you in my very next one